What's up, guys? This is Oli here, and I'm bringing another Pokemon Nerd Wi-Fi battle. And this match is uh, against Lem Marvin Jordan 23 for Elo Steam Team Tourney. This is round one match. I mean, I know it's like delayed or like a long time ago, but this is the only time I had to upload it. So, well, and it was a good match. So, might as well give it to you now. Anyway, I'm using a Fire Emblem theme team, Fire Emblem Pat Radiant Dawn specifically, and he's using a Final Fantasy team. So, let's see how it goes out. Um, I laid off with my Gatry, which is a wall in Fire Emblem. He's a marshal or a general, so he walls everything, and that's what the SSD does. So, that's what I found suiting. And he goes with the Zatu. I, I, I don't I haven't played much Final Fantasy, so I don't really get his nicknames. I mean, I kind of do, but because I looked them up, but and they're pretty fitting, I guess. But anyway, I go for the Seismic Toss, and I keep Seismic Tossing this thing as he sets up his screens, because, um, since his Magic Bounce, I can't do anything. I can't, upset, I can't set up Rocks, or Toxic, or Spikes, or anything else. Oh no, I think I have Recover on this thing, so, well, you know what I mean. Now, it goes into his Axorus as I, you know, as I Seismic Toss, and here's the thing. We had a match before this, but it DC'd. And, look, I'm going to... Oh, wait, yeah, he outspeeds, what am I saying? But anyway, I'm going to Toxic this thing, and I'm going to miss. In the first match, I didn't miss that. And, well, spoilers, I guess you could say, he does have a Lumberry. So, when I toxic him, I had to take two Toxics to uh, Toxic this thing. But in this match, it had to take, like, four. Because after he Lumberries, he, um... There's going to be another Toxic that's going to miss. And I'm going to be finally going to be able to Toxic that thing. Because I can't really switch. I mean, he told me same moves. And I'm, like, telling him to keep Dragon Dancing so we could, like, die in the same turn. He's like, no, no, same moves. So I had to deal with it, I get, I basically. So I, keep, I finally got, I finally hit the Toxic. And I had nothing else to take a, like, plus two or plus three Haxorus. So I had to let my, um... What's his face? Well, I can't remember anything right now. I have to let my Deoxys die. So, now that, that my Deoxys is dead, which really sucks, I have to go into my Escavalier, which is my uh, Aaron, which is like a Sentinel or a uh, Halbearder or Soldier. You know, he uses Lances, which, you know, is really fitting for Escavalier. So, I go for an Iron Head. This is a Choice Band Escavalier. So, the fact that it didn't kill there, I was shocked. I was like, what? But then I realized it was a Reflect Up. I was like thinking, like, do you hack or something? But now he goes into his, wow, I drawing blanks here, Volcarona, and goes for the Quiver Dance, and I knew he'd Quiver Dance, so I go into my Blissey, and, you know, he can't do anything, and her name is Laura because she's like a healer or a priest or whatever, so I, again, thought it was a fitting name because Blissey's a healer. But I go for the TOA, predicting a switch, because he's not going to stay in a Blissey, like, who would stay, a special attacker never stays in a Blissey. <laughs> but now, I switch out. I go into, back into my Scavalier's Death Fodder, since it has, like, 58 HP, there's not, it's not going to do much, so... He's going to bug bite, he's going to knock me out. And now I go into my Kurth, which is a dark dragon in the game, which is perfect for a Hydreigon. Now I go for the Draco, predicting him to switch. I don't know why I did that, because he obviously went for Bullet Punch and got Parahaxed. I don't know why. I was predicting him to switch because I thought maybe he could salvage the Sizzle, but I guess he just didn't want to keep it. So I had to switch out and switch back into my uh, Maureen, which is a tiger in the game. Well, like a guy that transforms into a tiger. So, yeah. Now, that bug bite doesn't do as much as I thought it would. That's because this Scizor, as you're going to see... Well, <laughs> I, like, burped. Anyway, this Scizor, as you're going to see, is going to be, like, a um, specially defensive Scizor. Because look how much... Wow. Okay, that was really weird. Because look how well it takes those Thunderbolts. Uh, wow, sorry guys. Yeah, look how well it takes those Thunderbolts. It, like, takes him like a boss, and I can't do anything, because I'm not going to switch. Like, if I predicted the Roost, I didn't know he had Roost. That's my problem. If I predicted that Roost, I would have switched back into Hydreigon fire and Fire Blast him, but I honestly had no idea that he had Roost. So, I just keep going for T-Bolts, like, thinking that, you know, I could kill him off. Well, not kill him off. I was hoping for a crit or something. But, you know, that doesn't happen. So now I go into my, uh, wow, drawing blanks here, man, uh, Hydreigon, and he bullet punches me, and I go for another Draco Meteor, predicting him to, uh, switch out, maybe wanting to salvage the scissor, because bullet punch is bullet punch priority, you know, why wouldn't you do that, but he doesn't, I still kill it off, so I don't really, it, I, it doesn't, I don't really care about it. So here he goes into Volcarona, I switch, and he makes actually a pretty good prediction of me switching and go and double, uh, to Blissey and double switches into his Kingdra. 
So I actually thought that was a pretty good switch. But now he dragon dances. Like, like wow, his all of his team is set up pokes. I mean, it, it's not that good to have that. But I mean, and honestly, it didn't work against me. You'll see why it didn't work against me. But um, I go into my Stefan, which is a sword master in the game. You know, Galay's a sword master, and he's dragon dances, which you know I knew he would do. He actually went for it twice, and I knew he'd do that since then he could like have an easy time killing off Blissey. But I go for the close combat, and I don't kill. I'm like crap, my Galay's gonna die. But this is like the only good hacks I got in this match for for me. I go for the uh, close combat and he gets para hacks. Thank the Lord. So now I just go for the ice punch, kill that fucker off, and he goes into his Volcarona. So I'm like, I can't do anything. So I have to switch the hell out and go into my uh, Blissey. I mean, Blissey was this thing, so I honestly do not care. So he goes into the Bug Buzz. Obviously, he's going to switch, and I yeah, he's going to switch into his Zot. Two? Yeah, he goes to Zatu, and I just go for the seismic toss. So actually, I think I predicted that. Actually, I think I predicted him to switch into a Zatu because Volcarona can't do anything, and I go for the seismic toss. And uh, I mean, I know it wouldn't kill, but ah, uh, I would this Zatu. I wish it would kill it because this thing is also as roost. So I just go for the seismic toss, and I I, I should have switched. I honestly should have. I should have predicted that roost and went into my Glade. Just ice punch the fuck out of this thing. Or maybe even Swords Dance and ice punch it. But anyway, <laughs> I go into my Glade now. He see he roosts up and sees that I have my Glade. And now he's going to switch back into his uh, Volcarona. But I predict that and go for the Swords Dance. I knew he was switching to Volcarona. I mean, the switch was obvious. So here I go for the Shadow Sneak. And seeing how much it would do. And it does half. I'm like, holy shit. And he goes for the Bug Buzz. And... He gets a crit. This crit mattered. I damage calc the motherfucker. This crit mattered. It would do between 161 and or 69% to 80. Um, it was like 161 to 189. I know the max was 189. So that crit mattered. So I could have shadow sneak and kill that thing off later. But I can't. So I have to go to my curse, go for the surf, and he goes into his almost star. Now I knew he would shell smash like because the way he plays. So I go for another surf, and it does half. And I should have stayed in here. I didn't know that a plus one Hydreigon could outspeed a plus two almost star. I mean, it was obvious, but like it was, I was, I wasn't sure, you know, because it was so obvious. I really should should have stayed in and went for another surf, and I would have killed this thing off. But I don't. But I still, I go into my Blissey, you know, because there's no harm in this basically, because Blissey can wall. I mean, look, I mean, it does, it takes a quarter, but Surf not gonna do enough to kill me. So I knew I could just T wave and soft boil stall him, or just soft boil stall him in general. But the motherfucker gets a crit. That basically clinched the game for him. That crit mattered so much, you have no idea. I'm like, I have this game. I pulled it out of my ass after all those hacks. He crits me last, like, last turn. Like, fuck you. Like, that, that, oh my god. I should have had this match. Honestly, I really should have had this match. He had no, no chance. But he pulls out a crit out of his ass the last time. Like, I even looked away from the DS for a little. I'm like, oh, I can take a serve and I can just stall him. And look back at the DS, I see Blissey fainted, and I was like, you son of a bitch. Uh, like, I know I'm cursing a lot, but whatever. And here, basically, I just keep going for serves with my Hydreigon, because I'm trying to get a crit, because that's all I could do right now. Get a crit and maybe, you know, win the match. And honestly, I deserve that crit. I really do. Like, after all that bullshit you put me through, I still p pull it out in the end, and then he... Fucks me over with that with that crit on the almost star, but I mean it's the game I guess, but like it just sucks. Basically, I'm just trying to go, for, you know, like I said, trying to hope with the crit with my hydreigon or something, but it obviously doesn't happen, which really sucks. And uh, yeah, <laughs> like, here's that last surf. He kills me off with a U-turn, and well, that's game. So that's a good game, Lil Marvin Jordan 23. Uh, hope you get far in the tourney, and you know. So I don't feel as bad about losing. But um, hope you guys enjoyed the match. Uh, rank, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you later.